working at Cornerstone, it has been my goal to engage the community in the neighborhood surrounding our community garden in Ebor. Over the past few months, I have been establishing a thriving relationship with the Dream Center, an after-school program for the neighborhood children. Their 6th to 8th graders have been coming out to the garden consistently since October as part of their weekly programming. They've learned how to build, plant, maintain, and harvest several raised beds and have worked on different projects and experiments focused in science, math, and art. In February, Grace Family Church's Young Adults Group harvested 81 pounds of produce from our garden, which equaled 540 servings of vegetables. I brought this produce to the Dream Center the following Monday, along with flyers about Cornerstone and our garden. All of the produce was distributed out to the families in the community when they came to pick up their children that day. Much to my surprise, three of the families came to the garden the next Tuesday to harvest fresh produce. And then again, the following week, another three families came to pick up food. Since then, we have regularly had a few families come week to week to harvest fresh produce from the community garden. One family that comes regularly only speaks Spanish. Our CNC staff members who are bilingual will come out to the garden with the family and help them feel comfortable when they come to pick their food. One staff member, Kat, even went so far one day as to help this mother navigate how to enroll her child at Rosa. Stories like this bring me such encouragement and serving in the community in this way brings me true joy. My prayer is that the Lord will continue to bless our efforts at CNC to reach the community through food and nutrition education and that through these efforts, these families would feel the love of Jesus. In Matthew 9, 37 through 38, it says, Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. So that's my ask today. The more volunteers we have working in the garden, the more food we can grow, and the more families we can feed. My prayer is that the Lord would continue to grow this part of our ministry, and I ask that you pray this along with me today and consider serving in the garden if you feel called.